Well, right now, I am in the area of Burgess Garden. And uh, we're here with uh, the organization We Happy Few 506, which is run by Matt Leach, who uh, played Floyd Talbert in the series Band of Brothers, which if you watch this channel, I'm sure you are quite familiar uh, with that series. But anyway, uh, last episode, we went to the Burkhoff, went to the tunnels, got to see some cool things that we didn't get to see on a previous trip. Uh, but right now, we're getting ready to hop on one of these buses back here and go right up this mountain, right here, to... Uh, one of the sites that really looms large in the history of the 101st Airborne, uh, the Eagle's Nest. And uh, this time, we're gonna show a few things that are a little bit different from what we showed on our first trip. All right, so uh, we just got up here to the Eagle's Nest, and my gosh, the, the view here, uh, as I've said in other videos, is just unreal. Uh, you can see why Martin Bormann chose this place to, uh, you know, build this tea house for, for Hitler. Uh, but anyway, uh, brought a few things uh, along with us today that uh, we're going to be sharing with the, the tour group that uh, came along with We Happy Few 506. And when he was done with guard duty one night, he decided to take home a really interesting souvenir. And uh, these are the original keys to the door. These are um, made by a German company in, I think it's uh, Hanover. Um, but they're, it's, it's a company called Panzer. But they're really interesting because they're really big. The guards could fold them and put them in their pockets. So they're folding keys. But these are the original keys, and they went to this door right here. Oops. They've been rekeyed, they don't fit anymore. And uh, this isn't the first time I brought these up here. JD and I did a video up here. But in 2018, I think Matthew was on that tour. I can't remember which bus he was on. But uh, I brought these up here with Mr. Brad Freeman, who was the last surviving member of Easy Company. And we got some great photos of him opening, pretending to open the door. But if anybody wants to check these out, you can check them out. And when we get upstairs, I have some really cool stuff from the C Company 506 guys. We'll look out upstairs. Kathy, how cool is that to have the keys to the eagle's nest right here on the trip? It's pretty damn cool. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't get much cool about that. John and Kathy get the award for the furthest travel. You guys are from Australia, right? That's right, right, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so kind of familiar. I think it was right. <laughs> All right, so uh, last time I was here, uh, went up the elevator. Uh, that's not the way that the men who ascended this mountain went up to the eagle's nest, though. There's actually a path that goes up. So uh, right now, I'm walking with uh, Adam here, rugby player from, uh, from Britain. So he's Wales. marginally Wales. tougher than I am. Wales. <laughs> Wales. <laughs> marginally <laughs> tougher than I am. <laughs> okay. Uh, I just started a war. Um, <laughs> anyway, we also got Marcel uh, with War Movies 101 on Instagram. He's got a YouTube channel that's going to be starting soon. And also, of course, the man who needs no introduction, uh, Matt Leach, who played Floyd Talbert and Band of Brothers. All right, here we go. All right, so here's an update. We're still making our way up. The uh, the rugby player 
and <laughs> the Dutch Marine veteran who did nine tours in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Africa seem to be doing well. The actor and the YouTube monkey are kind of sucking wind right now. Hold me, JD, hold me. <laughs> Uh, all right, I don't know how far we have to go, but it's a ways. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> man, oh man! I tell you what, uh, I'll probably say it several times in this video, but the the view here is really something else, and that looks like one heck of a long fall. Huh. So, I'm going to guess that Hitler never took this route. He, uh, when he would go down to his tea house, he would walk down, but he would always get a car ride back up. So, I imagine that during the, the 14 times that he did come to the Eagle's Nest, uh, probably took the elevator each time. One of the biggest misconceptions that, that came out of Band of Brothers was that the 101st Airborne was the first into Birch's God. And, uh, whew, man, I am sucking wind on this trip. Uh, the, the truth is, the 3rd Infantry Division and the French 2nd Armored uh, were actually the first. The, the 101st came behind them. But Dick Winters, all he saw was what was just in front of him and, and thought that uh, the 101st was the uh, first one's in here. Oh, almost there. I think it's over there. Nah, it's over there. Yeah? Yeah, we still got about three or four of these to tell you. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Matt, I can see why uh, you were kind of hinting that we come back down this way. Yes. Instead of go up. Yeah, but this was your idea, JD. Well done. <laughs> well, I was wanting to do it. There's perspiration Listen. on your beard, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> and it's not quite as cold today as I'd like for it to be. Yeah. A little warm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Keep going. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Do what? Get up on the car. Oh, it's a good view? Yeah. Pretty nice of the people to uh, supply everyone with a deathbed halfway up here. <laughs> oh, man. That is quite the view. Oh look, just for one last little bit of punishment, the end of the walk with steps. Oh, merciful days. All right, well, we uh, finally made it to the top and we're not dead. Uh, that is uh, quite the hike though. Uh, but man, it's it, coming up the elevator is, is cool, don't get me wrong. But uh, being able to, to take that walk and come up here in, in the same path as, you know, some of the uh, veterans of the Second World War who were at this place is, is really something else. And being able to, to see this view as, as they saw it. Um, anyway, we're, we're going to take a look at a few things that are familiar, a few things that are different, and maybe address some questions that were uh, brought up the, the first time I showed the eagle's nest. Like I already said... Uh, standing here and and seeing this view from the same vantage point as the men like from the 101st would have seen it is really something else and uh, like I said we, we've been here before uh, but I thought that in this video we would address a, a few things that maybe came up in the last video comments that people made different th points of confusion uh, one question I got was why didn't I show any bedrooms at the Eagle's Nest Eagle's Nest wasn't a house this is not Hitler's house uh, it's a tea house so it was used for social gatherings uh, again Hitler was only up here like 14 times uh, whether he was afraid of heights or not that's something that was said in Band of Brothers whether it was true or not not positive uh, but on April 25th of 1945, there was a bombing raid by the RAF, and uh, they came right over these mountains and bombed the Obersalzburg. Uh, now, the question was, why didn't they bomb the Eagle's Nest? Well, the reason is that the Eagle's Nest was not a high-value target. Uh, uh, again, Hitler is not up here very much. It's not like important decisions were, were being made where the the nerve center 
for the uh, second most important place in the Third Reich was, was down here in the, the, the valley uh, on the Obersalzberg. Uh, so again, main targets were like Hitler's Berghof, uh, Hermann Goering's house, Bormann's house, the SS barracks. Uh, what the RAF was trying to do was to deny the Nazis a base of operations to like continue uh, a, a guerrilla war to have like some last holdout. Uh, but yeah, the Eagle's Nest, yeah, it's dramatic, but ultimately wasn't that important. We're inside the Eagle's Nest right now, and this is, uh, I guess you would call it the, the great room of the Kelstein House, or the Eagle's Nest. Uh, there were a, a lot of photos, both during the Third Reich era, and uh, also by U.S. soldiers that were taken uh, right here in this very room. And as we showed in some previous videos, well, right here you have uh, the, the famous fireplace that uh, is all chipped up from uh, U.S. soldiers taking souvenirs from it. Now, there's a story in Band of Brothers about Alton Moore finding Hitler's photo album and then Dick Winters kind of protecting him uh, so that he could hide it and bring it home. And uh, the, the photo album disappeared uh, sometime in the 1950s maybe. Uh, Alton Moore uh, died in the 50s in a, a car accident. But uh, Eric has an interesting theory about that photo album. So in the series Band of Brothers, they uh, mention Alton Moore took a photo album that belonged to Adolf Hitler. And that is true, he did get a photo album. And they said it was taken from the Eagle's Nest. Well, if that's true, um, there was photo albums up here that were pre-made. I believe they were made by Hitler's personal photographer, Heinrich Hoffmann. And what they were were almost like little scrapbooks and they had original photos pasted onto each page and they made a bunch of them and they would give them to diplomats and people who might have visited up here and i believe that that's probably what the alton moore um, photo album was um, I, I don't know if i would exactly call that hitler's personal photo album but it was a photo album made of original photos by Heinrich Hoffmann, but they were mass produced, meaning there was much more than just one. There was probably several dozen of them. I've seen a few of them in the effects of different um, World War II veterans that got up here, and uh, you know nobody's ever seen the thing since the 1950s or so when he was killed in a car accident, tragically. But I I think that's probably what that was Hitler, when they when they refer to Hitler's personal photo album. Oh my gosh, I'm all the way up here in the Eagle's Nest and look who I ran into. A legit the man YouTube himself. celebrity. <laughs> the awesome history in your hand. What are you doing up here? I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying the views. It's crazy up here. Making some videos, having a good time. It's fantastic. It really is. First time I've ever been here. So, so really good. Fantastic. When I ran those Eagle's Nest episodes on some of the previous episodes of History Traveler, I had a lot of people uh, under the assumption that in Band of Brothers, the set was actually here at the Eagle's Nest. Now, that's not exactly true. Uh, and I have somebody here who uh, can speak on that with some authority. So uh, all the Eagle's Nest stuff was actually filmed in a studio in Hatfield, a lot like the, all the Bastogne stuff. It was all interiors. 
Um, but what there was was a huge green screen. So the actual set itself did look just like this. But then all sort of exteriors and the mountains and everything was all added in afterwards. Uh, and just shortly after filming episode 10, me and a reprobate friend of mine called Champagne Martin broke into the edit suite in Hatfield because um, they were editing as we were going along. And I have a really early copy of, actually of episode 3, but also of episode 10, that has the scene where Dick Winters shows up and he's like, the war is over and Harry Walsh is all drunk and he's slapping his face. It has that scene, but in the background, all of it is just green screen. And I have it on a VHS tape in my friend's loft. I also have a version of episode 3 without any of the CGI in either. And so uh, in the scene where I um, come and pick up Lipton and he's, got, he's been hit here, and I'm like, you know, everything's white where it should be and all that business. The rocket that comes in where he's like, get out of the road, actually has a wire on it. And I actually have that video. And I can feel Eric Dawes over my shoulder look at me like, how much for that? I could tell he wants it for his music. I'll, I'll dig it out. I'll give it to you, Eric. I promise you. <laughs> it's yours. <laughs> I'm going to pull a page from uh, the, the playbook of some other channels that I am quite fond of. And we'll do a little then and now. So here you see a picture of Hitler uh, lounging in one of his recliners here on the sun terrace of the Eagle's Nest. And uh, that photo was taken right here. Up here at the Eagle's Nest, they have a lot of information about the, the history of this place and the, the history of the Third Reich. So when I first ran the, the episodes from up here at the Eagle's Nest, I had a lot of people commenting uh, that this place should be destroyed um, and that it honors a monster. Well, honestly, what they're doing up here obviously is not... Um, honoring the, uh, the, the occupant or the man who it was built for. Uh, rather, they're, they're quite honest about what a terrible person he was. But to me, this place stands as a monument to the Allied victory. You have the French Second Armored and the 101st Airborne uh, from the Americans who were up here. And they were, they were proud that they had taken this place. Uh, so when we are here at the Eagle's Nest, what you're looking at is a, a monument to Allied victory and Nazi defeat. All right, we're getting ready to uh, wrap up our time here in the Eagle's Nest and wanted to come back up here and, and again, just stand in the spot where so many famous photos uh, were taken. Uh, but anyway, our, our day is wrapping up for today. Uh, but tomorrow, we have some other cool places that, uh, that we're gonna be going to check out.